I'm, I'm a I'm a top down approach trader. I always start with the big picture, the big picture technicals of the S and P, the Nasdaq, and the Russell before I break it down to the individual stocks. I think that's a very important way to process the market because any individual stock that you're trading is going to have some degree of correlation to the market. So I don't think that you can be an individual stock trader and be blind to what the market is doing. So I first want to have an idea. All right, do I think the market's going to go up or down? And if I think the, that the market is going to go up, then the opportunities that I'm going to be looking at in individual stocks from a day trading perspective are primarily going to be to the long side because those trades will have a higher probability of success buying those stocks if the, if I, if the market's moving higher than if the market's going down and it's, and it's actually breaking lower. So that's the first part of my research is is more macro what is the gap doing to the big picture technicals of the market what are my expectations based on those big picture technicals of the market is there any new macro news that is impacting what those daily technicals actually look like that i should be bringing into my thought process and bringing into my thesis and then only after that's done do i really dive into the individual stocks i, I have a universe of maybe 50 stocks that I look at every day uh, some of them I trade pretty much every day. Uh, so I go through my normal universe of stocks. And then on top of that, I look at every company that has news, every company that got an analyst up upgrade or downgrade, every company that um, had an earnings report, every company that just had general stock news to see if those names are becoming in play in such a way that it's creating additional trading opportunity, like I was just describing, combining what that news event is with the big picture technicals to see if, there, if there's an opportunity.